Hi, it's Starnell with Wave on Recipes. And today I'm going to be cooking up some steaks. And I'm going to be using a countertop air fryer oven. And you've probably wondered, well, how would things turn out if you did broil versus air fry using an air fryer oven? Well, in this cook here, in this video, I'm going to do cooks of steaks. I'm going to do one using the broil, one using air fry. And we're going to see how those turn out. I'm going to be using the Instant Vortex Plus air fryer oven to do these steaks. We're going to get started right now. Alright, so basically I've got my Instant Vortex Plus here. We'll get that started in a moment. But first I'm going to get this steak um, prepared. And so to prepare the steak, I'm going to just be using some canola oil since that has a high smoke point. And I'm going to use some McCormick's Grillmate Montreal Steak Seasoning. And pretty simple how I prepare my steaks. Now you can leave your steak out to room temperature if you desire. I, uh, you know, this one I just brought right out the fridge. Sometimes I let them set a while, sometimes I don't. And so just going to get it covered with some of the steak seasoning. Now I don't skimp. I don't go easy on the seasoning. I do season the steak up pretty well and heavily, and I really like the seasoning. And nothing in this video is sponsored, by the way. And so just going to prepare the other side. I mean, if you're one who wants to put seasoning in oil, you know, make sure that it's on your edges real good. That's up to you. I just basically do the two sides here and whatever, um, you know, doing like the front and back side. Whatever gets to the edges gets there, and what doesn't, <laughs> doesn't. So I just do two sides. But that's up to you. So let's finish sprinkling on this seasoning really well here. And so now that I've got it well seasoned up, I'll just leave that like that there. I'm going to basically take this crisper tray here, this cooking pan. I'm just going to set it right there on that for a moment. Now here I have my iGrill 2 meat probe. I'm going to take this, I'm going to stick it in this end of the meat here and just stick it through till I get to somewhere around center. Um, you know, I don't want to stick it all the way in to go to the other end of the meat, but you know, kind of get it in there good and centered. That's pretty good there. And you know, I could have put this rack in and let the rack heat up with the cooker, but I'm going to leave it here on the rack outside of the cooker and I'll flip things halfway through to make sure that things get seared on both sides. So I'm going to do a broil and so hitting the broil button and the max is 400 degrees Fahrenheit and the time I've got it to a max of 40 minutes. So I'm hitting start letting that broil preheat and when the preheat's done we'll get the steak on in there and start broiling it up. It's time to add the meat, and so get it slid right in there like that, and close up, and we'll let that go ahead and cook. I'll bring you back. All right, six minutes have passed, and it's already up to 102 degrees Fahrenheit in there after just six minutes of cooking at 400 degrees on the broiler. So I'm going to open up. I'm going to flip this steak over. You can see this side has a little searing on it. Not a whole lot. But we're going to put it on back in there. Close up. And uh, we'll let that continue to cook like that. And we'll see how things turn out. Alright, so 13 minutes have passed on this cook. You can see the time remaining. And we're up to 140. Uh, for some of you, I know that's the time to pull the steak, and so I just wanted you to know, you know, after 13 minutes it reaches that point, but for me, I'm more of a medium well type, so I'm going to let this go until we get to 150, and then I'll be pulling the steak out. Alright, and now 15 minutes have passed, we're at 148 degrees. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but that's a about a one pound ribeye steak in there. So we got just one more degree to go and we're going to be done. So I think, uh, you know, about 15, 16 minutes 
and it will reach my preferred temperature to stop. So I'm getting ready to jump in there. There we go. And so just seeing how much time is left. So it took 16 minutes to reach 150. And look at that. That looks awesome. Look at that. Look at that. That looks great. So we'll give that about five minutes to rest. Alright, so that steak is all done and rested, so I'm just going to do a little cut into this broiled steak and we'll have a look inside of it. It's cutting real nice and easy. You see inside we got a nice, uh, nice strip of pink inside, so that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to just cut a piece off. I'm just going to do a quick taste right here of this. And so, here we go. So I'm just going to taste it real quick. Very juicy and tender. Came out very good. Alright, so I've got another ribeye steak here, also about a pound in weight. I didn't do like exact measures to see that they were the exact same weight or anything. This isn't an exact uh, scientific type of a study here, but just a general cook of a couple using a couple different styles. So putting some oil onto this steak here and then going to basically season up the opposite side of it. And this one will be doing the air fry method to see how things turn out air frying a steak and I've got myself a fresh uh, crisper pan or crisper tray here to use for this particular cook. So I'm going to flip this one over and while I dress up the other side I'm going to turn it on I'm going to hit the air fry 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to bump the time up and I'll just do it to 40 since we did the last one at 40 but hitting start I'm going to let things basically warm up in there. I did uh, quickly clean up things so things are cleaned up inside of there. Let's get some, get some more seasoning out on this side here. Alright, there we go. So we're all seasoned up on this side and that side. I'm going to set the steak over here on the crisper tray and get my iGrill 2 meat probe and stick it on in. Try and get it down deep into about the center. So here we go in there. Stick it right in there like that. So we'll stop it right about there. And we'll let things finish preheating. Then we'll get the steak right on in there. meat so open up and get it on in there I'm using the highest rack level gotta get this meat this meat probes kind of mess me up here gonna have to touch my meat a little bit I'll just have to get my hand cleaned up afterwards but we'll close up there we go so we'll let that go ahead and cook and I'll bring you back all right seven minutes have passed and we have reached 100 degrees which is where I open up and do a flip of things and so this is how we look doing the air fry looking pretty good kind of flipped over get back on in there and close up let's see if I can get the door right there we go and so we'll let that go ahead and cook Alright, 14 minutes have passed, and when we see we're at 140, I'm going to let it go 10 more degrees, and then I'll pull it on out of there. Alright, so 16 minutes have passed on this air fry, and we're at 149, so in just a moment, I'm going to be going in there to get this stick out of here, and there it is, 150 in 17 minutes, so getting it on out. And here we have air fry. Look at all the sear. Look at it. Well, that's the other side there, but this top side really got a lot of good searing on it. I'm going to go ahead and 
just have the cooker do its cool down. But we'll give that five minutes to rest and then we'll uh, take a cut into it and maybe do a quick taste. Alright, so our air fried steak has had five minutes to rest and you can see it there. And here's the one that we broiled and I can kind of put them side by side here so you can have a look at them. But I'm going to go ahead and do some cutting on the one that was broiled now so we can have a look inside of it. So slicing on through. It's also a pretty tender cut. And here you see the inside there. We've got a nicely medium well cooked steak. I'm going to slice right on through here and going to just do a quick quickie taste right here of this piece here. So Okay, that one's also very good. So both of these turned out, I think, very well. I mean, both of them kind of on that end fat there kind of got some good searing, either doing broil or air fry. Let's put them kind of side by side for you. I think, uh, you know, we see kind of here we got some extra cooking and here we got some good searing. And this is on the side where things finished up for both of them. They both turned out kind of even I do believe that the air fry one though got a little bit more seeing here you see things are really not seared in that area right there and kind of here not seared but here we've got basically you know most of the parts got I think a little better searing on the air fry just my opinion although here you know on the edges we got some good searing with the broil but you know it is bringing down the heat from the top either way you do air fry or broil I just feel that Maybe the air fry gives a little bit more of a uh, complete cook overall because it you know kind of sears things over the top more. I think with the broiled one, I think the underside of this one, you know, it may have gotten a little bit more cook on the underside. But let's look at the underside of this one. Yeah, yeah, the underside did. Well, no, it got some good cooking there. Well, you can tell me what you think. I think I'm kind of partial to the air fry method of cooking up the steak. But, uh, you know, if you prefer the broil, you know, you can let me know what you think. And uh, I think either way you go, you're going to have a good steak. All right, so either way you do it, I think you're going to be a winner. And the Instant Omni Plus Air Fryer Oven, it does a great job. So, you know, good cooker, good meat, good results. You can cook to your preference. If you're interested in the cooker or the temperature probe and all that equipment that I use, you can find referral links in the video description for things like the cooker and to my Amazon shop to look up the iGrill 2 or anything else you're interested in. And you pay the same price but help this channel when you do that. Also, you can find other ways to help the channel such as memberships and such. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Leave your comments. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and good eating.